Cap like the narco, narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope. Chop trees with the Draco. Draco. On the north, got Diego. Cap like the narco. Good morning, y'all. I done put on my bonnet to protect my hair. And we have a new instructor. And somehow, y'all, we are in a floating class. So every day we may have a different new move. Uh oh. Yeah. Hey, girl, right here. That's our new instructor, Mr. Brad. That's Austin. Uh, Tiffy and I don't understand. But yeah, y'all. Yeah. That's what's going on right now. Finna watch him do this. I got demo. Door one's here. The other cover. Overlay and fill it well. The other one's here. Fill it well, not to play well, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't know you gotta grind the back. Clean the back up. Not a whole thing. It's a strip about this line. Down the back, also on the top. Take a little bit off of that, okay? If you don't, you leave that mill scale on there. When you start to put the cap on the pipe, it's going to play in this case. It'll undercut in the process of burning that mill scale off. It'll leave a little undercut on there. You gotta put a landing on the plate. Everybody got your glasses on? They start grinding a little bit. Yeah, put that flat ridge on there. That's the landing. You gotta have that on there. You don't want to try to do it without that flat. That flat ridge is critical on, on the stick rod roof, okay? So you want it to be about, I use about a 332. Remember, when they say 330 seconds, they don't mean it. up here on this end that with the bluff on it. That's too big. They mean the metal part, okay? Oh yeah, we're getting the whole still. See right there? I'm gonna make it a little bit wider. 332, remember that landing, man. You gotta have that, okay? And then it clean off the back. It's not like that. Yeah, you gotta clean the whole thing. So I did a 332, okay? And I'm gonna bust the plugs off this end. I'm just gonna bend it into a hard shoe. That's another thing you'll be getting used to now. You're gonna need to start using spacers. It's a full penetration well, so you gotta have a gap. If you can't see a little daylight through the gap, but it's touching, it's too tight. You gotta Always have a gap, so I'm gonna use that right there, alright? So, 332 is a 7018? Uh, you should say 332? Yeah, it's 718, Mom. Yeah, 718. Knock the butts off. We'll tie this real quick. Can't stand well, gun thing moving. Oh, keep it tight. I ain't teach us that. And you know what he showed us last year? Yeah. Huh? And you know what he showed us last year? <laughs> well, what'll happen? Keep an eye on your finger, and he just start getting loose. If it does break it, Timmy will tie it up and it'll fall off. They only fall off, and everything you touch with your finger will arc out. Come 
have a flashlight on me. Sorry, I'm so scared I'm waiting down here. See how many blue right there? See, you make it thin when it turns blue. If it don't turn blue, it ain't thin enough. You grind on it, it's still shiny silver. It's still kind of thick. Notice too, you know, you don't grind with real long, make it about, you know, three quarters of an inch, something like that, okay? But I have to do that so it'll tie in. And then when I start, they call that a key hole, looks like you stick a key in there, right? I'm not going to start right there on that. I'm going to fire it and come back to right here. Yeah, I, I call it walking down the ramp, you know, I kind of ground it into a ramp, so to speak. So I'm going to fire it up and start right here, and I'm going to step it a couple times. As I, as I walk down the ramp, it's going to all come together and put these together and make what they call a tie-in. And then I'm, when I get to the end and it puts it clear, I'm just going to resume what I've been doing. Call it making a tie-in. If you don't grind it, I'm telling you, man, it won't look right. On the back, it'll be funky looking. And this plate, I mean, in this plate, we're going to get on pipe. Y'all might be on pipe here pretty quick. So these two plates, a horizontal and a vertical up. Kind of, you know, preparation, so to speak, for the pipe. Then we got a five or six piece on the pipe, okay? Get done early in this class. A few people, you know, usually will. You get done a little early, we'll get our TIG rigged out here and we'll start working on that. All right, man, so look here. It's got about 85 minutes, all right? I'm going to put the rest of the root in. And I should finish it out with 85 minutes. That's another thing to notice. If you ain't covered at least roughly half the plate with one rod, that tells you there, you're moving a little slow and you probably got hit heavy speed in the back, okay? This looks pretty good in the back. Overall, we got pretty good overall speed, okay? See how the tie in is the same height? You don't have a dip in the middle. That's what you're looking for. That's why you got to grind it. So you have the same height in the back, okay? You don't grind all the way through it, but you got to grind the track out of it, okay? Yo, what's your eyeball? How would you know if you grind it like too much? Right. Uh, how much force to put on it? Too much, you know, to get too, you start turning blue for one thing, let you know you're getting close to dry all the way through it. Okay, now I'm going to put the hot pass. I didn't cover that one rod. So do you stitch that too? Stitch it? Like when you going over? Yeah, similar to that. Yeah, some people call it whipping it nowadays. They're calling it stepping, you know. I'm going to come down through there. You know, I whip it sideways. Kind of like y'all did on the filling well. They put the meat on the filling well. Same thing. I'm gonna make sure to catch both plates. Don't let it all favor the bottom. I'm gonna start in. I'm gonna leave my rod back a little bit. Hit the top. Okay, step it. Or you can be level, but don't be like that. Either level, I like to leave it back a little bit, favor the top. Step the rod, catch both sides. Okay. This man pulling out so many tricks right now. Y'all are start catching both sides of your plate. If you don't, know, if you don't, know, when you go to your pit test, they start bending up, you're gonna find out you just nice to the top piece, okay? One piece filler in there. You gotta weave it a little bit. And I'm gonna catch both sides. Also, when you put the filler in there, be real sure not to let it roll over the bottom edge. Hey, I'm gonna hold it in there and constantly be watching. I'm watching the bottom of the more than anything to make sure it doesn't roll over that edge right there. Here and there, a little bit ain't gonna hurt you. Just start rolling over it all the way down the plate. It's gonna throw you off on the cap and make you, it's gonna cause you to make the cap too wide and too high. All right, so I'm gonna make a point to leave that, leave that edge. What are you running in it? What did you kick it up to on the seven? What are your amps? About 90. 85 90. to 9. I'll do the whole thing 85 to 9. Okay. That's pretty good overall range, you know. The low 80's kind of cold for us. It's kind of cold because you'll get frosty where you start. You may not see it, but when you start, Using rusty in there for being too cold. I go 85 to 9. Yeah, I left the head showing. I didn't let it roll over the edge, okay? Make, that, make sure you don't let it roll over. A lot of people make this mistake when they put the metal beads, they go up too high and have a valley in the middle. Yeah, I'm going to put the
thing, when people put the top one, a lot of times they go a little slow. You see that the top one will kind of roll over, give it a cold cold snap. Watch the speed, you know, the copper bag, you just gotta skate along. Just be careful, don't leave no undercut on the plane, okay? Yeah. Not bad, not strange, not to work. But anyway, about like that, okay? Three beat cap. Remember, take the kid root, ride it down. I think you don't ride it down, it'll make the hot mess dry. Then you'll put the hot mess in there and you're already cool. So you're gonna grind it down, okay? So you put on the filler, though, you only use one piece of wood. I use one, yeah, because it ain't very wide. That'd be with a pig root, that'd be wider. But you could buy things with a pig root, be wider. Right? Um, it's, it's not real wide. Okay. Alright, y'all. So basically, he was demonstrating on what we're supposed to be doing right now. And I picked boots up before. I said, I'm gonna put this down and grind down my stuff and get started for the day. My face is breaking out, as y'all can see. I don't really know what's going on, but yeah. I'm outside in a damn G. Right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas round me, cry to the guy. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. I'm outside in an AMG. Right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me. All the niggas around me, So y'all, I'm about to open my new room. It's so loud up in here, it don't make no sense. All these girls are so weird. I just caught a shorty off a of finsta Just the one on hoodie, it's a print shop Where did I make it you know I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know Certain things just started getting tense up Think we need to have a sun adventure I could be a man, but maybe down the road Right now, I would rather see my heart turn to bone Rather see my heart turn crystal I'll be back with y'all when I'm done grinding, because I'll be back in the The plates are now grounded down a little bit to the best of my abilities. Yeah, you got the hollow. What? 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 I mean, yeah, it's a little bit. It was so hard.
Yeah. All the niggas. I really hope y'all can hear me through these AirPods. So I'm just speaking a little loud. I have to change this little, I forgot which one this is. Change that blade. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have to change this little piece to, uh, yeah, I'm about to get some more things. You see that little hole? Get a little wrench thing to take it off. Found it, y'all. I can't, I don't remember how to do this. So he's shown one time how to do this. Oh! Okay, so I remember it's like a little blood. Yeah, it's like a little blood. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, y'all, so it's a little button right here you gotta press. And then you just unscrew the top, take off the disc, and this is the one for inch metal grinding. And this is the where I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Just so we gotta use this. So let me make sure I put it in right. Yeah, I think I put it all right. Well, I had it all right, just had it on up to wait. Okay, so now I'm about to grind out this little slag that was trading on my hands. This is how I look and then this is how the back side looks. So I kind of did with it. I got a hole. I got a whole hole right here. But well, that's better than those people. Fuck. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it in at the back. Instead of pushing it, and then he said that I need to work on my grinding, but it's not so bad. So that's a good thing. Day one, we're getting shit done. We're gonna try to do it again. Y'all know the prep takes the longest, so that's what we're gonna get into. So as y'all see me just change this, this grinding, I gotta change my change this off again. There we go. Hey, you put that bitch on there and fight. Put that plate on here. Alright, y'all. I'm not showing y'all the whole process again. Y'all, show y'all my plate for once they're done. Here goes the beginning. Unfucked with. Sharp, straight edge. As I see that, about to grind it down. I'm, 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 I'm. So y'all pretty much know that I can kind of lay my, my beads down good. But what we're going to have to work on is the back of this plate, which looks fucking terrible. Read another one because I don't have any holes. But right here and right there, I created two big holes and you can tell. So, like, that's bad. Yeah. Y'all see that, though. Get 
Yeah. Chat tree with the Draco. Draco. On the north got Diego. Diego. Say I still a wiggle. 